Welcome to Shanmugam IS Academy. Today's editorial analysis of 6th December 2021. And uh, this is a very important topic. Very, very important topic. And we will be seeing this uh, from so many days. And we all know this. And many of us having confusions and also. And this is related to so many things about the climate change. And what are the NDCs we have given in the climate summit. And what in the Indian budget we have adopted, everything is very important to this. Apart from that, so many prelims and mains, everything is related to this topic. So the topic here is the boosting green hydrogen. Boosting green hydrogen. So we all will be studying in the papers like green hydrogen, grey hydrogen, blue hydrogen. And so many of you not knowing like pink hydrogen is also there. What are these, these hydrogen? This is, these are not the colors. I will tell you what are what exactly these hydrogens are about and why we are seeing it is the news and what how it they are related to uh, like uh, this climate changes and how it can uh, help in uh, in an economy to grow everything I will be explaining you in this topic oh, so I will be moving into this topic right now so here the diagram which I have given you here is like I am going to explain you with this like here the first one is the green hydrogen second one is the blue hydrogen and third one this is the gray hydrogen so in this green hydrogen you as you can see the photovoltaic cell is there the wind energy is using here the battery that is the electric current which will be utilizing here then after that we have the hydrogen storage and here that is with the with the help of compression we are we are extracting the hydrogen this is the process it is showing in, in the green hydrogen and blue hydrogen so we have some of different type of processes here so i will explain what they are doing in this type of hydrogens and what is the method they are following so for this we need to know why it is in the news and why exactly we are studying and what wh how it is related to our topic like our syllabus here so in UPSC this is a very important topic because this is uh, this is going uh, these days uh, very importantly in the newspapers so we need to know the context here is the Prime Minister uh, has called recently that announced India would aim for net zero carbon emissions by 2070 in the climate summit in the Glasgow I have already given a video in this the Glasgow summit, the climate summit, uh, we uh, that I have told you. If you want to have any doubts, you can go and see this. Watch that video. So here recently, the Prime Minister of our country has uh, announced that would aim for net zero carbon emissions. These are one of the NDCs by 2070, and. The announcement was given that the country solar achievement is since 2015 Paris summit. They told that and India is the only major economy whose policies and actions are tracked to limit the global average temperature rise below 2 degrees centigrade according to the Paris Agreement above pre-industrial levels as envisioned in the Paris Agreement. This we all know this thing. And recently, in the Glasgow Climate Summit, the government of India has announced to scale up the target of uh, having 450 gigawatt of renewable energy by 2030. Earlier, it is, that was 400 gigawatt. Now, it, it is increased to another 50 gigawatt. By 2030, in this context, the union budget, the 2021's budget, has proposed the launch of National Hydrogen Energy Mission. So, this is important here. And this is one of the NDCs. They can ask you what are the NDCs of India given the Glasgow summit. And other thing, what they have pledged over there. And what in union budget they have proposed. That is they have launched the National Hydrogen Energy Mission. Why they have launched? First, we need to know there are four types of hydrogen. Four or five types of hydrogen. The first green hydrogen, blue hydrogen, grey hydrogen, pink hydrogen, yellow hydrogen. What are these hydrogens? How they are like... Uh, how they are producing we all will be studying here how they are important for our economy and for the uh, for this helping out in the climate process climate changing process so here we will be knowing that so what is the green hydrogen first of all the green hydrogen is a clean hydrogen it is a clean hydrogen 
which is generated by using the renewable energy such as the solar power and wind energy and the by products after generating this energy this green hydrogen we will have by products for sure the by products are the water and the water vapor so green hydrogen in other form it is produced by the electrolysis of water and so we all need to know here the large amount of hydrogen is water and a big electrolyzer and the large supplies of electricity so first we need to know what is electrolysis process what is electrolysis here so electrolysis that is a process which electric current is passed through a substance so to effect a chemical change this is what the electrolysis process is not in a simpler term it is process by which the electric current is passed through a substance to effect a chemical change by which this method only we are producing the green hydrogen how this is the process which is carried out in an electrolytic electrolytic cell and an apparatus consisting of positive and negative electrodes held apart and dipped in the solution containing the positive and the negative charged ions this is what the electrolysis electrolysis process in which we are producing the green hydrogen by the form of renewable by using the renewable energy such as the solar power and the wind energy also and i have already told you in my example the diagram itself so what is the green hydrogen here green hydrogen i have told you is a green form of hydrogen so an, another definition the green hydrogen is produced by splitting the water by electrolysis so i have told you what is the electrolytic process here so green hydrogen is produced by splitting water by electrolysis this produces only hydrogen and oxygen we can use the hydrogen and vent the oxygen to the atmosphere with no negative impact so we are not diffusing we are not sending out the venting out carbon dioxide here here we can use the hydrogen from the electrolysis process which we have uh, like taken and we are venting out the oxygen to the atmosphere because oxygen doesn't have no a negative impact here so and to achieve the electrolysis we need electricity exactly we need electricity and we need power too for that and the diagram i have explained to you and so the process to make green hydrogen is powered by renewable energy sources that i have told you either by wind or the solar energy and this makes the green hydrogen the cleanest option hydrogen from renewable energy sources those also are the solar and the wind without carbon dioxide as a by product this is a this is an important point so i have told you without the like without the carbon dioxide as a by product so so we don't have carbon dioxide to vent out here so the by product is not the carbon dioxide here so this is a good one so this this like this can help in building up that with the uh, the promised 450 gigawatt of renewable energy this can be very helpful for us too and in the form of climate change also this can also be helpful in the form of reducing the climate change so that is referred to in the project petrofish petrofac is the supporting in australia mentioned in the beginning that i have already mentioned you in the beginning so what is this by electrolysis method we have to know this thing and by the form of by the using the renewable ener renewable energy those are the solar and the wind energy so and the by product here is not the carbon dioxide so that is a good thing here and first we need to know the differences between the because these are important for your prelims too in prelims they can ask you a question on this and they can ask you the, the difference between the green hydrogen blue hydrogen gray hydrogen pink hydrogen what are the difference between this? this we need to know here so i have already explained you the green hydrogen by the electrolysis electrolysis process we are producing by the using of the renewable energy and the byproduct is now the carbon dioxide here for the green hydrogen what is blue hydrogen here blue hydrogen is when natural gas is split into hydrogen and carbon dioxide either by steam methane reforming this method is important they can ask you by for which we are using the steam methane reforming so this is for the x for that is the split the hydrogen and carbon dioxide by this method either by the steam methane reforming method or the auto thermal reforming method but the carbon dioxide is captured here the byproduct is carbon dioxide in the blue hydrogen but the carbon dioxide is captured and then stored here this is important 
the carbon dioxide is coming as a byproduct in this process but here we are not releasing the carbon dioxide to the atmosphere here the carbon dioxide is captured and stored in the blue hydrogen as the greenhouse gases are captured this mitigates definitely this mitigates the environmental impacts on the planet for sure and the capturing is done through a process called so we are capturing the carbon dioxide which for that we have a process so exactly the capturing is done through a process called this is important this can be a prelims question so the capturing is done through a process called the carbon capture usage and storage so the we are like we are when natural gas is the blue hydrogen is when the natural this is by the natural gases for uh, green hydrogen i have told you we are using the renewable energy in the form of wind and solar but in blue hydrogen we are using the natural gases and by here we are splitting the hydrogen there and our uh, oxygen in blue green hydrogen here we are splitting the hydrogen and carbon dioxide either by steam methane reform method or the auto thermal reforming these are the both measured methods by which we are splitting the hydrogen and this carbon dioxide which is coming as a by product we are like mitigate we are capturing that and by and we are storing that we are not releasing it to the atmosphere and the capturing is done by the carbon capture usage storage these are the important points which will be very useful for your prelims and what is the gray hydrogen here what we have we have studied here the green and the blue hydrogen what is the gray hydrogen here gray hydrogen has been produced for many years we know that it because it is already there these are the process now green and blue are now but the gray hydrogen is already there it is a similar process to blue hydrogen the smr the atr method i have told you what is the smr method smr is the steam methane reforming method and atr is the auto thermal reforming method are also used in this gray hydrogen to split natural gas here also not renewable energy we are using natural gas into hydrogen and carbon dioxide but the carbon dioxide here is not captured and is released into the atmosphere in blue hydrogen what we are doing we are capturing the carbon dioxide by which method by cap carbon capture usage method but here in this gray hydrogen we are not capturing those by product the carbon dioxide but we are releasing it into the atmosphere definitely it we are not mitigating here the carbon dioxide we are releasing it to the atmosphere so it have great effect on the atmosphere too so this is a not this is not good one and what is pink hydrogen we are uh, many of you not have heard about this what is pink hydrogen is similar to the green hydrogen pink hydrogen is made via electrolysis process by using nuclear energy here in green hydrogen we were using the renewable energy but in the pink hydrogen is also similar to the green hydrogen but here instead of using the renewable energy we are using the nuclear energy as its source of power so the source of power is the wind and solar in the green hydrogen here the source of power is the nuclear energy and what is the yellow hydrogen here yellow hydrogen is another type of hydrogen made by the electrolysis is yellow where electrolysis is achieved by through the solar power unlike green which should have a combination of renewable energy such as the solar and the wind but in the yellow hydrogen we are using the electrolysis method and achieving it by the power power source is here only solar not the wind energy so we need to know the, the differences between the blue hydrogen green hydrogen yellow hydrogen pink hydrogen and the gray hydrogen these are the difference i have told you and why these are important what methods they are producing where we are capturing carbon dioxide where we are leaving carbon dioxide these are the points i have told you very important for the, for the prelims point of view fine and India's in need of renewable energy we all know that India spends more than 12 trillion annually for its energy needs and any savings because of this reduced energy imports following the domestic increase of this green hydrogen will definitely have a production boon in the country for sure so the valuable foreign exchange savings can be deployed towards because these amount this money which you are spending for this uh, energy needs so we can convert this deploy towards the infrastructure creation health and the education and it will also help india meet its nationally determined contribution targets under the paris agreement so this is important one and will also help it in the climate change process to, to declining that and india has a head start that is green hydrogen that is more than 75 percentage of india's energy demand is made by coal now and oil including imports 
this is expected to increase therefore the en the synergy is between the renewable energy and the green hydrogen must be tapped to tackle the dependence of fossil fuel and take greater advantage of our india's solar and capacity and hydrogen i have told you the green hydrogen is particularly is a crucial weapon in the india's fight to climate change and is all improves the long term energy storage capabilities of renewable energy the simple uh, storage is also one of the major uh, drawback here that i will tell you in the later part the simplest element is the this is hydrogen is one of the simplest element in the periodic table and is also the most promising solution to decarbonize the sectors like the cement the steel and the uh, the refineries too and hydrogen can provide the lowest card cost of decarbonization solution per over a fifth of final energy demand and several major economies now which are adopting legislation to reduce carbon emissions for sure after the climate changes and all so we all know that and here are also catalyzing the global efforts towards the transition to the green hydrogen so the global here is taking efforts towards the transition of transition to the green hydrogen so the the low carbon source of energy first of all is required to generate the hydrogen through electrolysis process i have told you what is the electrolysis process that the splitting up of a water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen in green hydrogen the splitting up of the hydrogen and oxygen is happening and oxygen we are leaving it to the atmosphere here the by product is not carbon dioxide in the green hydrogen that we all need to know but in blue hydrogen and in the gray gray hydrogen we have carbon dioxide the by product but in blue hydrogen we are capturing carbon dioxide but in gray hydrogen we are releasing the carbon dioxide into the atmosphere that is that is not good and the hydrogen is coded with its color depending upon the method of reproduction but here i have told you the green hydrogen blue and hydrogen gray hydrogen these are not the colors please miss and don't misunderstood that misunderstand that here this is not the color this is the these names are given because depending on the method of production because in green hydrogen we are using the renewable energy in blue hydrogen we are using the natural gas so this is the method of production by depending on this method of production we have coded these colors the form of colors while hydrogen is generated through renewable energy sources green and it's blue when the carbon generated from the process is captured and stored i have told you that and when the carbon is not captured the generated hydrogen is called as gray hydrogen i have told you and with india solar capacity increasingly that is 300 3000 times in less than a decade so here the cost of solar energy has reached a low of rupees 2 per kilowatt so this gives a unique head start to scaling up this of green hydrogen and what are the challenges here the challenge is here the storage the hydrogen storage is one of the major challenge here very low density of hydrogen it will require large volumes for storage very well, low density the hydrogen is having but it requires large volumes for storage alternatively the temperatures what you need for this maintenance is minus 250 degrees centigrade this will entail huge cost for this so this is the only problem we are seeing the production cost of green hydrogen has been considered to be a prime obstacle to the usage of green hydrogen why we are not using this green hydrogen nowadays because this the 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 cost the primary production cost is high so according to the studies the production cost of this green hydrogen is expected to be dollar 1.5 per the kilogram the currently most renewable energy resources that that can produce low cost electricity are is, are situated far from the potential demand centers and the technology which are used in the production of using of hydrogen is like the carbon capture and storage which is we are using it in the blue hydrogen and hydrogen fuel cell technology are at nascent stage these are expensive but which in turn increase the cost of production of hydrogen definitely this will increase the cost of production of the hydrogen what are the solution for this the solutions the government funding in the long term policies is an attractive investment with the standards and a progressive compliance framework and hydrogen across that is cross sectoral capability should be exploited according to each sector's cost and new demand from steel cement and road mobility should be mandated as per the part of medium term goals and heavy duty vehicles should be receive the st state and central incentives the heavy duty vehicles should get should receive the incentives from the state and the central government and the shipping aviation energy storage and solutions towards power 
intermittency should be mandated to use green hydrogen the shipping the aviation industries should move towards the using the green hydrogen in the long run these are all the solutions and another solutions the that is that is very including the production technologies the storage transport and distribution infrastructure such as the ports and the refueling stations vehicular applications and electricity grid etc so we should aim more than 4 to 6 million tons of green hydrogen per annum by the end of the decade and export at least 2 million tons per annum this because with with this we have a good step here the india has already taken the first step with the indian oil corporation floating a global, global tender to set up two green hydrogen generation units at mathura and panipat so these are important they can ask you in the prelims where these hydrogen generation units has been set up so one is in mathura and second one is in panipat so what is panipat is in haryana mathura is in up uttar pradesh and at present there are more than th 30 countries have hydrogen roadmaps over th 200 large scale hydrogen projects are going on right now the government worldwide provide are like committed to more than 70 billion dollars public funding so with this abundant and cheap solar energy india has upper hand to tap into this investment and lead global efforts in transitioning to green hydrogen so in this topic this is very important for films in this topic i have told you what is green gray pink and blue hydrogens and yellow hydrogen and how they are produced and what are the byproducts here how we are like uh, like capturing that and how, why we are releasing that and what government have taken the steps and uh, what we are doing now for uh, like what are the ndc's everything i have explained to you in this topic if you have any doubts please tell us in the comment section do share this video Thank you so much.